Hello everyone and welcome to the Sterny Games Weekly Features episode 6 where we talk about the Overwatch mechanic. This mechanic is present in many uh, turn-based games to account for the fact that uh, one player moves all of its units and the other one moves all of its units. So basically it's some way uh, to react to your action during your turn on part of the enemy. So if we just send our bomber here uh, recklessly and try to bomb Amsterdam, we'll get our bomber overwatched and it can no longer move and no longer can no longer attack and many players get frustrated with it. Still, uh, there are quite a few ways to deal with it. So today we'll talk about three of them for the air units at least. Uh, so uh, first of all, to avoid such situations, you have to scout ahead. Basically, we shouldn't have rushed here in the first... Uh, f uh, first of all, because uh, should have uh, done either land reconnaissance with... Uh, Recon unit or air reconnaissance with aviation recon HQ skill. Now, the plane got overwatched and uh, every reconnaissance plane lost accounts for minus 15 prestige due to non core units lost. Although you do not lose it every time, it could get away uh, with zero strength as well like now for example. Many uh, also are confused by the fact that it now overwatched twice, although the skill says during enemy turn the unit attacks enemy aircraft moving into gun range once per turn. So basically it shouldn't have attacked the second time, but it can attack your uh, Aviation recon uh, unlimited number of times and it doesn't use ammunition and it doesn't lose uh, overwatch air ability. This is an exception to the rule and it is written in the detailed description of aviation recon in your headquarters. So basically it's the only uh, case when it would be able to overwatch multiple times. Yeah, so basically if you send lots of air recons the doesn't remove overwatch or anything, but it can show you where the enemy AA are located, so don't waste your uh, aviation recon for that. Additionally, uh, it says that uh, uh, attacks uh, enemy aircraft moving into gun range, but it also has to have uh, vision on your uh, units. So, for instance, uh, let's see. Okay, so it has a gun range of four because it has two here and it has gun range versus aircraft increased by two. For example, you can see that uh, these two hexes are not covered by the uh, red skull icon which indicates the overwatch. So if I were to move into those two hexes, I wouldn't get overwatched because the enemy units cannot see me there. So, for instance, uh, and I uh, will have uh, a more detailed discussion of spotting and camouflage in one of the next episodes. But for now, you have to know that anti-aircraft guns usually have a spotting range of 1, so they only would notice you in adjacent hexes. And now they can see us here, because uh, this infantry can see us here. And this infantry can see us here, because it has a spotting range of 2. But uh, in general, uh, you could avoid uh, like uh, many. Um, sometimes it's confusing where the enemy would overwatch you because of the enemy vision. Uh, it also has to be taken into account. Okay, so how we deal with this overwatch? So first way would be to attack the enemy unit. An attack disables the skill until the end of turn. So let's do exactly that. Move our armor train closer attack uh, the enemy anti-aircraft gun and now we can move in and attack it with our bomber okay and we can probably finish it off with our fighter um, so similarly uh, there is also land overwatch so we can see this uh, 
anti-tank gun it will uh, fire on us if we move in here so we can uh, remove its overwatch also by firing on it and then move our tank in here uh, and attack it from here so uh, basically it's the easiest way of uh, removing the enemy overwatch also uh, with tanks if you have uh, a tank with heavy armor skill for instance uh, we should have some of them somewhere here, I believe. Yeah, so for example, if we have a tank with heavy armor, it, uh, after being stopped by anti-tank overwatch, can move and attack. So they get overwatched, but they, ca they can keep moving and attacking. Similar, uh, basically, uh, a thing can uh, feature fighter planes. Uh, that have a skill uh, overwatch breakthrough so let's use uh, overwatch breakthrough it says if activated before moving into the area of anti-aircraft overwatch uh, this allows the unit to move and attack after being overwatched lasts until the end of turn and let's use afterburner to gain plus four to all defenses and minimize our losses so now let's move in here for example and see what's going on so now our uh, unit gets overwatched because it was seen by this unit or by this unit or by those units so uh, now but it can still move and still attack so let's for example attack this uh, anti-aircraft gun and now we, if we had some more bombers we would be easily be able to go here and bomb the first way to get rid of overwatch is to attack it with some artillery or tanks uh, second way is to use uh, fighter skill overwatch breakthrough uh, often combined with afterburner or another, other skills like uh, altitude and stuff to reduce uh, the incoming damage the third way is a bit more specific so let's say we wanted to bomb the city so we've scouted it and saw that there is an anti-aircraft gun and we have no artillery or tanks or fighters nearby but we still want to bomb those units it's very important to us this turn we would use air strike ability and summon strategic bombers uh, so as you can see uh, uh, this uh, anti-aircraft gun doesn't attack this bomber because um, it has the skill a small caliber anti-aircraft gun cannot attack strategic aviation if it because it's a uh, small caliber if we had some larger like a, a flag gun or something there then it would have attacked but we would still get rid of its overwatch so uh, now its overwatch air ability is crossed out and we can use our uh, bombers to deal with it so this is the third way but in order to use it you have to learn the uh, air strike HQ skill first so it isn't there by default you have to learn it at your uh, headquarters first but it's a very efficient way to do although it's quite costly because the skill itself uses up quite a lot of command points and the repairs are costly in case of large uh, caliber A guns. So you should use it only if other uh, ways of dealing with AA uh, are impossible in that situation. So the easiest way is of course to just attack them with artillery or some other unit. If that's not the case you can use fighter with overwatch breakthrough and then uh, bomb it with your aircraft or something and then if both those don't work you could level up uh, you could level uh, air strike and use air strike to deal with the overwatch i think those are uh, enough ways enough means to deal with it and you only have to deal with it in the 
particular uh, locations where you plan to advance this turn and then you can switch to the other and so on. So it's not so hard to deal with in fact and I know it's it could be very frustrating if it gets you unawares. There are really quite a lot of uh, ways to deal with it. Uh, with tanks uh, you should also be careful, uh, do not uh, rush into unscouted areas. For example, let's just move in here and it would immediately get over ambushed by this gun. There was also another gun waiting for me, so even let's, let's say uh, yeah, let's say we've dealt with this one and decided to move further and it would over be overwatched by this gun. So if you don't know what's in here, it's better not to advance and use some more scouting first. Yeah, so uh, there are basically two main types of overwatch. This is anti-aircraft overwatch and anti-tank overwatch. And uh, against anti-tank overwatch you could just attack the anti-tank gun first, it has only two range usually, so it's uh, not that hard to use your artillery or infantry to uh, sneak up on that and attack it first. Tanks with heavy armor can move and attack after being overwatch, so it's not so problematic for them. So I hope this explains the overwatch mechanic for you. Uh, there is also like a uh, fort overwatch, which overwatch uh, overwatches any unit uh, once per turn. But you could also like bomb or attack or like capture the fort with uh, paratroopers with flamethrowers or something like in this scenario. Uh, similarly, uh, forts uh, have um, uh, Overwatch soft, so they attack soft, auto attack soft targets uh, when they move into their uh, firing range. And there are some other, uh, like here, some heroes have Overwatch against uh, any targets that they can attack. Uh, yeah, but uh, the most widespread are basically forts, anti tank over, uh, anti hard targets Overwatch, and anti air uh, Overwatch. Uh, but the principle is the same, so you have to either attack that unit or find uh, like your way to use like uh, Overwatch breakthrough or something to mitigate uh, the problem. Additionally. We are now working on the Fight for Freedom, um, strategic mind Fight for Freedom, and in the US campaign uh, you could purchase uh, strategic bombers and use them as core units, so those would have built-in uh, Overwatch breakthrough skill all, all, always active, so you could also use uh, basically your uh, strategic aviation as a way to pave the way for the rest of your bombers. Uh, because they take uh, very little damage from AA and can move around freely. I think that covers it and if you have any questions left uh, let me know and we'll answer it in the comments or in the next episodes of the weekly feature. Have a good day and goodbye.